Uh, hello, my name is Zengi. I'm second year student in Osasa, which means it's the fourth with the Bac plus 4. And currently, I'm studying uh, chemical engineering in Jinni Shimik. So, hello everyone. My name is Peggy Chan. And I'm a deuxième année in Jinni Shimik. And I'm studying in Sasset. Okay, uh, my name is Mohamed Al Faruqi Ben Nazruddin. And I'm in the first year uh, Jinni Shimik in Ecole Nationale Supérieure des Ingénieurs en Arts Chimiques et Technologiques. Uh, nama saya Muhammad Syahmi, uh, pelajar tahun pertama di Onsiaset. Hi, I'm Yubing from FP16. I did prepa shimi in RAN before and now I'm in Onsiaset, first year chemical engineering. Hi, my name is Jun Tat and I'm from Onsiaset. And I'm currently in first year in chemical engineering. So yeah. Hi, my name is Wan Siu and I was from UT Sanaze and now I'm here in Onsiaset. Basically, dekat on saya ada lima pilihan yang kita boleh ikut kalau budak PF usually kita ada dua choice je which is JPE dengan JC dan ada courses yang kita boleh join is JE, Jenny Industrial, uh, Shimi dan IMAT which is for material For the prepa Shimi student if you did uh, Federasi Gay Lusak you will have three options you can choose either chemistry, chemical engineering or material <laughs> Uh, Gini Shimik Chemical Engineering and GPA which is uh, Gini Procede Informatic and basically both these two are quite the same except for Gini Shimik students you have more chemical things like organic chemistry and organic chemistry and for G GPA students you have more to like uh, programming informatic things but basically the, the, the main subjects are the same Uh, dari segi jadual, kita tak boleh pilih Like, tak boleh susun nama jadual uh, It's fixed by the scholarity First semester is what we call Tong Kama Basically, you learn everything in common With other department like material science Then, for the second semester, you enter your department Based on what you have chosen For third year in Onsia Set The good thing is you are given several options Like, you can go to material science even though that's not your initial department you can also go to uh, Shimi Dukhab you can go to biochemistry as well environment uh, quality and security studies etc in one sem we have around four modules and each module we have several subjects three to five maybe uh, our type of evaluation is mostly like continuous evaluation so we can have about an exam per week, which will be like almost every week. To avoid khatkhapash, you have to pass every UO by 10, moyen of 10. And we have two kinds of khatkhapash. First is the jam session, means you can retake your subject. Exam is another one where you have to retake the subject um, next year. Three years of our course, we have about three stage. The first of all, um, in the first year we have about one or one or two months of stage for the stage ouvrier and then for our second year it's mostly four or five months of stage which we can do either in laboratoire or in an entreprise and for the third year we have um, a six month of stage which will be towards the end of our studies. It will be like the, the, our final semester. For FP students, you can do exchange during your troisième année for a semester. So we have seniors who went to Canada and we have a senior going soon to Brazil. So it depends on your motivation. What can you expect from this school? First of all, your prof will be researchers. Uh, normally they have their expertise and so they can teach us better because we can relate between the application and the theory. Because there's like a group of Malaysian here, so the seniors they really help a lot. You feel like um, if you if you find some problems in in your academics, you can always um, ask your seniors. So I think in terms of education, it's um, it's quite comfortable here. If you are an extrovert person, if you first enter uh, NSASET, you will be welcomed by like three weeks of integration, 
and there will be quite a lot of activities to help you integrate into this school and uh, if you feel like joining at, uh, any list in Nansasa we have quite a lot like uh, build, um, BDF, like Bureau de Foyer, Bureau des Etudiants, etc. So uh, I think if you really like this kind of activities it will be very nice of you because you will have a lot of fun during um, your premier and also and uh, about disadvantages, I don't really see any. <laughs> uh, for sports in NCSZ, it's compulsory, which means that every student needs to take uh, a sport at least. And I think it's really good because it helps you to release your stress as well. For each semester, you can choose one sport, it's either classic sports. For example, we have like badminton, uh, wall climbing, uh, like fitness or like just football, rugby and so on. If you are really a sportive, uh, you can uh, join the club. There's a lot of sportive club you can join, associations, etc. And to talk a bit about Toulouse itself, Toulouse is very lively. As you can see, it's very bright here. But here you get very big uh, commercial center, you will have cinemas, also bowling center, paintball, uh, you have restaurants, good restaurants, good park around you, you can do sports, so I think staying here is very good and the residence is not expensive. So mostly we can access this école only through bus, but if, we, if you were to go further in the city center, we have metro, we have a tram, we have um, buses, so it's actually quite easy to access all types of facilities facilities in Toulouse. Yeah, and it's quite frequent, especially uh, during weekdays and also Saturday. Come to Toulouse. <laughs> we are very welcoming seniors and we expect you to come here and learn with us. Yay!